Hi everyone, Jenny's Cops here, and welcome back to a, another Survival Madness video. Today is not going to be a tutorial. I bet you're all pretty happy about that. Pretty happy to see me playing some games again. Hello, people. Hello. Um, yeah, today we're just gonna uh, run around, see what we've done so far, and just have a little bit of a quick update. Just me in this video today. Tuba is sleeping. Shh, she's sleeping. Hello to all of these lovely people who came over to spawn to say hi. We've got a lot of lovely people here. We've got Flower Days, um, Radarad, I think that's how you say it. Uh, Ruka Take Your Kill, I Ballistic Kid, TDM Lovers, Program Gamer 2. Yeah, we've got a lot of people in here. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys some fancy new things here at spawn. So, standing right here, I'm at the exact spawn in spot. If you come up this way in the hallway, the signs for the tutorials are gone. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. That would be why. <laughs> so, they put in some signs for my little tutorials. We've got the claiming one, the jobs one, and the shops one. So, if any of you come in here to have a play and you're not sure about things, you've got a quick little shortcut in here straight to the tutorials. That's fantastic. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to our home. Bye, lovely people. Goodbye, lovely people. All right, so we're just going to go slash home. Come check out our home. Oh, look, it's had things built in it. All right, as you can see, right over there across from me is Tuba's lovely home. Uh, we've got a fair few other people building around us now that we're live on the uh, normal server. I'm just going to run over to Tuba's mountain so that we can have a better look at my home. Die, die, die. Alright, so we're just going to go climb up to the mountain. Oh, thank you to this person who built some stairs. That's something I'm going to have to do all the way down. Alright, so there we go. Oop. I'm a bit clumsy today, aren't I? No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't, don't, please. Please. Okay, there we go, they're dead. Alright, so coming all the way over here to Tuba's little house, what I'll do is I'll show you around hers first, and then we'll do a grand reveal of my house. So here we have Tuba's house, in there she's got her storage and stuff, and here is where she is going to put her stuff, in here. Yay! Oh, she's got a bunny. Better not let her bunny out, she'll be very mad. So yeah, she's got her house there, and if you look up, there's my house up on the hill! Yay! Alright, so I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to show all you guys around my house. Um, actually, I can just do flash home. Okay, so here we are in my house. We've got my two shops that you guys have probably seen in my shop tutorial. Here we have our enchanting bookshop, which is very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Make sure you come check it out. And my armor shop, which uh, I've only just started doing it. So... Yeah, it hasn't got much yet. If you guys were wanting to come over here to my shop or to check out my house, my coordinates are up on the screen right now. So it's negative 66, 591. Okay, just going to shut that now. All right, we're going to go down here. I'm going to show you guys all of the stuff that I've built. So on the first level is my chest room. I'm kind of rethinking how I've decided to do this kind of it got a little sneaky way that I might be able to fit in some extra storage so I might redo this later excuse my little uh, frame rate drop there down here we have what is going to be my crafting room so I've got my enchanting area started over here lots and lots of books in it I'm also going to have a brewing area and then I've got my furnaces crafting table and my anvil this room is still a work in progress a little bit further down I have my cow spawner, and because I have a looting and a fire aspect sword, I get so much food when I kill all the cows, as well as experience for being a hunter! Yay! Let me just finish killing up all these cows, getting some food and some leather for making my enchanting books. See, I'm quite the entrepreneur. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alrighty, and then a little bit further down, you just got to be careful with the ladders, because otherwise you'll have a big drop. We've got my huge sugarcane farm. 
this is where I'm growing all the sugar cane to make my books. And then all the way down the bottom, this is the best part of the whole thing. Oops. Well, I didn't know that you couldn't do that anymore, the uh, falling onto your ladder thing. That's alright, I'll just have to go down the slow way. You guys will just have to bear with me as we go down. Down here, can you guys guess what it is? You might be able to. Maybe. What we've got down here is my mob room. So I've got some mob spawners in here and just some random creepers spawning out on their own. That's fine. It is a bit dark down here. I guess I can understand that. Uh, so I've got two little zombie spawners in here. I did used to have a skeleton spawner as well. But things got a bit overwhelming with uh, so many skeletons shooting at me. I was dying so much. So I got rid of that. And um, yeah, so... When they decide that they want to work. Oh, there we go. Yep, spawns up lots of mobs. And then, because I'm in here spawning and killing so many mobs, get a lot of, uh, a lot of bosses down here. Which is some amazing work. In a minute, I'll go back upstairs and show you some of the awesome stuff that I've gotten from that. Gonna gather up all my experience. Don't want to leave that behind. Okay. So I'm just gonna do slash home to take me all the way upstairs again come down here into my, my little room that I've got here. I'll show you guys some of the awesome stuff I've got. Now excuse these chests, these ones aren't very organised yet. Oh, first I've got the chest that I'm wearing. I've got a ground plate, which has some awesome, awesome enchants on it. Oh, actually, my favourite thing that I got from the boss was a pickaxe that had fortune on it. I've melded it with another one that I had, but it has fortune 10. It's amazing. So yeah, so we've got a few other cool items, so like uh, pants with protection 10, pants with really good fire protection and awesome thorns. Like, you can get some really, really amazing stuff from these boxes. And anything that I don't see myself using, I am actually going to be putting into another shop that I'll make um, upstairs, and it's going to be my awesome loot shop. <coughs> so yeah, we've got... We've got a few things in here so far. Trying to see if I can find anything else. Oh, yep, there's another one. Over here. Aha, miscellaneous is where I was putting it. Got a guardian tooth, which gives me extra health. So, just give it a second to work. There we go. So, as you can see, hiding behind my chat there. Oop, can't close my chat without closing my whole interface. I now have two extra hearts, but... I don't like to carry that around with me. So we're just going to come back up here and we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing with our little area. Tuber and I have decided that while we love having our shops here, we kind of want to move somewhere that isn't in an extreme hills biome to build our real houses. So this is going to be where we keep like our shops and our storage and that kind of thing. And then we're going to build our actual houses elsewhere. Okay, so what we're also going to do is we're going to put a little bridge between mine and Tuba's house. Uh, as you can see, Tuba's already got a little makeshift bridge over there, connecting her up to the other place over there. And if I have enough area claimed, I may make a bridge over to that mountain for me. And maybe another bridge over there or something. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so we're going to make a little bridge so that we no longer have to hop and bounce around to get to each other. And it is going to be fantastic. I am really, really loving survival so far. It is so much great fun. And I love seeing all you guys on here too. At the moment, we are so packed. As you can see from me pressing tab right there, there are so many people on run, online right now. So, yeah, you know, it's going really great. And I'm so happy with how it's turning out. And I really hope you guys are enjoying it too. Anyways guys, I just wanted to do a quick little update video just to say hello and show you guys what we're up to. Um, I will do a longer video next week of me getting in with you guys and, you know, having a bit of fun. But yeah, anyways, for now, thank you all for watching and I will know you later.